This is Adele. Welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see, I finally moved into my new place. And the decor is coming along. Still have not got my clackers because I'm moving still and I'm trying to get everything organized. And I'd be very upset if I break a nail and I'm trying to get the crib in order. But before we get into today's video, please make sure you like, comment, su subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Hey, moms. So in today's video, we are going to be doing my album. And I'm very excited about this because lately I have been collecting albums like I grew up I born in the 80s grew up in the 90s early 2000s and etc 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 and lately I've just been collecting a lot of albums so I was like you know what I want to do an album wall in the living room it's going to be very expressive of who I am because with my parents I grew up listening to the whispers the temptations the supremes the emotions growing up in the 90s the early 80s um, as I, of course I got older, but once I got older, I was listening to Rakim. I was listening to Wu-Tang, uh, State Property. That's the nineties. Rough Riders, Biggie, Pop, Jay, the R&B girls, Mary, TLC, everybody. Jagged Edge, 112, the list goes on. So my musical category goes all the way from, I don't know, the sixties to i'm gonna be honest my cutoff was like maybe 2013 because i don't really i can't really get in with the music today i saw this video and the girl said in the video i grew up listening to drug dealer music y'all grew up listening to drug user music think about that for a minute because Right. So today we're just going to get into doing this um, wall and I'll give y'all a little sneak peek of what I got going on in the living room right now. And then once I get everything furnished the way I want it, um, I'll do, of course, the furnished apartment tour. But please make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe on my empty apartment tour. Please make sure y'all take a look at my other videos. With that being said... Let me show y'all some of my albums. I have like a big old duffel bag full of CDs and then I have a CD book and I was going through them and I was like, I need to make some art out of these. So I got to thinking like how um, musicians have their plaques and stuff. So I was like, you know, some of these, I got some classics here and I need to frame them. So <laughs> the blueprint. I made my own plaque, you see, you see. My ring light is in the way. That's fire, that's fire. I remember when I got this CD, um, my pops took me to get this CD in the city. If y'all not from New York, the city is what is Manhattan, not the whole city of New York, but when we say the city, we mean Manhattan. So my dad took me to the city and we went to the record store um, I cannot ever remember the name of the record store, but if you're from New York, you know this record store. You got to go into the city, and then you go up the steps, and it's a huge-ass record store. And when this came out, there was only limited editions of the blue covers. And I wanted the blue cover, and I got the very last blue cover on the shelf. So, Jigga Man, Jigga What, Jigga Who. Graduation. I wanted to put this in a frame because the artwork on this cover was like bananas. Like this is before we lost Kanye, before he came Kanye Kardashian. Of course I got my man's Tupac. The greatest hits album is a double disc, so duh. And my man Biggie Smalls. Greatest hits, you feel me? So these are my little plaques. These, these plaques take me back, you know, I remember when I started listening to Biggie Smalls, I remember the damn funeral went past my grandmother's house. The first Tupac song I ever heard 
I want to say it was Brenda's had a baby. It was either Brenda's had a baby or I get around because I know both of them sir both of them songs verbatim. Of course, my first Biggie small Biggie song I heard was Juicy. And if you're a real hip hop head, you should know Juicy. It was all a dream from beginning to end. Let me just give y'all a little sneak peek. Let me just give y'all a little sneak peek of what we got going on in these albums, honey. Okay? Okay? Y'all not ready? Y'all not ready? Are you ready? All right, so first of all, like I told you, my musical catalog is ridiculous because of who I grew up with. Cool in the gang. Get into it. If you don't know, this is the original China Doll. Listen, I don't I don't know who China Doll is today or Asian Doll, maybe is her name. I listen. The original, okay? The original. On the TLC tip. Get into it. <laughs> Minnie Rippleton. Ask somebody about it. The woo. Always for the woo. This is listen, I love Pop Smoke. But I be trying to tell y'all kids, the original woo, get into it. Listen, mother, mother. Here's the thriller. Okay? So, listen. Listen. Drop a comment down below and let me know some of y'all favorite musical memories. Let me know your favorite record store. Let me know where y'all get vinyls from because, listen... So what we're gonna do right now, I'm gonna stop talking to y'all. We gonna we gonna turn the record on, um, and we gonna goddamn get into this wall. <laughs> All right, you guys. So as you can see, I got the Erica Badu on, moving everything around to get me some room. This part I knew I should have got a yardstick because this measuring tape was not working. So what I was doing was measuring the wall, trying to find the middle portion of the wall. Um, my wall is about 15 feet, so it was like anywhere between six and a half ish um, to my middle point. So now I'm just measuring out each album. Each album is about 12 inches, so I measured it at 13 to give me a little bit of space in between each one. And here, I was trying to use my measure on the iPad, but little did I know that they doesn't exist anymore. So I had to get my other phone and use the measure on the other phone. And right here... I'm just putting some mountain tape on the album hangers and I'm going to find the um, exact point and I'm hanging up the album hangers up on the wall keeping at least 13 inches in between each one so the albums can Kind of be cohesive um, and look nice. I don't know if it looks a little crooked, but it was not crooked. Maybe it's the way that my camera is, but I was able to get it evened out. And as you can see, one of them was a little off, but with the mounted tape, it comes off real easy. You just take it off, put it back on, and you're good to go. So I got my first row done and now I'm doing the second row, same method, measuring each album at 12 inches, keeping a little space for 13, hanging up the albums. It got easier as I went along, so that was really good. And now we're down to the third row. I hung up 10 albums right here, so there's four at the top, three, two, and one, so. It got easier as I went along because I kind of knew what I was doing. But in the beginning, measuring out the wall, finding the middle port of your wall and everything like that. It's a little hard. I'm not going to lie. It's 
So now because I'm so tall, you know, I had to squat down for the last one. And now I'm just figuring out which albums I want to hang up. At this time, I had the bad album in the record player. So that's why you only see the cover jacket. And now I'm hanging up my plaques. My plaques from the albums, I measured them five inches from the album. So it could still be on a diagonal, um, but be cohesive at the same time. And as you can see, I'm just making sure each side is in conjunction with the other side because you kind of want it to look symmetrical i mean if you're an inch or so or well not an inch or so but if you're like you know a little bit off or whatever the case is it's not going to be too bad but i just wanted to get it as cohesive as possible and yes i'm using a pen i probably should have used a pencil but this is the wall and the wall is done as you can see um, from the time I recorded this I actually added two more plaques onto the wall so I have three on each side but this is the wall hope you guys enjoy <laughs> 